just a quick little bit, I'm going to sneak this in somewhere, maybe at the beginning of the next episode. Um, this is the egg finally hatching. I walked around way too long for this. I don't know why the eggs take so long in this game without flame body. But, you can see we've got our why not. That is the third member of our party, even though Anareth did come first. We're not going to worry about it. This is our current party now. I haven't done any training, it's just been yeah. The why not? Level 1. So the goal is going to be getting all these guys to around level 30. And then whatever little March Tom winds up, he winds up. But I'm going to cut back away. See you guys next time. Well, see you in a few seconds. I guess, but whatever. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Alpha Sapphire No Catch. In the last part, um, we made it. We finished the fourth gym and went and collected our last two party members, getting our why not and our. Um, What's his name? Anara. In this part, we're going to be starting this this um, fifth gym. We are going after this, the speed room. Uh, I set it on the door right before we walked in. And so we're fighting Delcaddy. Uh, this guy, basically this gym's gimmick is everyone tends to use items right before they fight. Um, in this one, I still have Why Not leading. That wasn't what I was expecting. Unfortunately, like I said, they use items, so they're going to give us a free turn. Uh, yeah, I had Why Not in the lead because uh, you saw a few minutes ago, well, I guess eight minutes ago, uh, we just hatched him. So, we wanted to get things ready. Let's take out this Delcaddy. Attract! Uh, I think Pikachu is female, so if I need to get past Attract, Pikachu's going to be who I have to use. Uh, but I'd rather first get rid of this speed boost he's got. There, he's back down to normal speed, so I don't know if that means he's going to spend another turn trying to boost his speed again, or what's going to happen. But, immobilized by love. These are pretty eventful team turns where Double Slap was missing and we're immobilized. Okay, yeah, we're, we've got immobilized again, I'm not. Like, I can't just sit and leave Marsh Tom here then. Uh, we've got, yeah, males except for Pikachu, so Pikachu's coming on out. Nine, nine, oh! Two hits, sweet, it's not that bad. Uh, let's Rock Smash. Oh, for the defense drop. Nope, no defense drop. And I guess we will try to finish up with Electro Ball. Now that it doesn't have the speed boost, I think we'll be hitting it fairly. Nope. Now that actually was worse than uh, Rock Smash. That's a bit sad, thing. Three. He just got three crits out of that double slap. I'm sorry, what? I guess, Anarith, you're the only one who hasn't come out to play, so your turn. But uh, I decided against training up my team because this is going to be the best place to train them anyways. Uh, the only downside being, um, well, I'm mobilized by love. And then double slap. Like, I, if I had a ghost type, I would laugh so hard at this gym because they, they could immobilize me with love, but they could damage me for most moves. Okay, good. You finally attacked, and Delcaddy lived. I know it's an 8 level difference, but because of typing, I should be fine. Game? Come on. So after this fight, we're going to go heal up because one of my members is asleep. One of them took a lot of damage right there and died. And Anareth might not even live for this fight. If he gets it, yeah, hit four times, and we're fast asleep. We're getting really bad luck here, so we're going to end with Marsh Tomp because I need to level up our Inneroth and I need to level up, uh, why not? Pikachu it isn't as important to get the experience, but I'm a little sad that they're hitting as hard as they are, because they... No, we were we are higher level than you, the only thing you've been getting on us is you landed a tract and then Marsh Tomp can't do anything to five turns. Attract, Confusion, that sort of six turns. 
attract confusion, triple crits. Like, you have had ridiculous luck this fight, Dughead. And so we're going to be cutting in between battles because it'll be me running back to, he to heal at Pokemon Center since we are a bit underleveled for it, even though it doesn't look it. So he keeps getting four hit double slaps, as, as well as guaranteed knocks me to sleep. And a bunch of crits. Oh, and we're immobilized with love. Okay, good. I didn't want to waste any items this fight. Fortunately, it's not a Nuzlocke. If it was, I think, uh, what's his name? Uh, Delcaddy would just have ended it. Because I don't have any way of stopping what just occurred. Like, I could spend the turn to use the Awakening, but that just means his next turn he knows to use Sang and he's faster than me. So, zero reduction and the defense room. Alright, so we'll pick one of those once we get back in. Fortunately, the Pokemon Center is not that far away, um, being, you know, right here. And you can do that. I don't like to run out and heal as often, but that was just cheap. You've, you've seen the rest of the gym challenges we walked through because um, the luck was at least decent. Uh, this one, I guess they decided that that wasn't going to be the plan. We're going to switch our team. We do not want Why Not in the lead anymore. Let's just put Marsh Tomp. With how that first battle went, I think Marsh Tomp leading is going to be our best bet. Uh, and maybe we can clear out two or three more people before we head back. Because I want to, because of how low Why Not and Anarith are, I want to take out every single trainer in here. So the speed room, and then let's go take out the zero reduction room just because it should go down hopefully pretty quick. Uh, I don't think this one has any benefits such as it speeds up a lot or its attack goes crazy. I think this is just the one where he tries to prevent us from lowering his stats. A little annoying for Marsh Tomp because Marsh Tomp does use Mud Shot, uh, which, slows it, like, which slows the enemy a bunch, but I think between uh, Rock Smash and Water Gun we'll be fine. Oh, sorry, Rock Slide. Not the hardest hitting. Um, I wish it was a physical move, honestly. That would be nice. And why do all of you have multi-hit attacks? Last time it was double clap, this time it's fury swipes. Yeah, mud shot's gonna be our, our ticket out of here. Looks like we'll probably need to hit two more times though. Oh no! Electricity is weakened. Might have been an issue had we been using Pikachu. But that fight went much smoother. Marsh Tomp gets the level up. Uh, I think we're four away from becoming... You know what? Yeah, we're gonna forget to move for Protect. I don't normally do that. We'll get rid of Tackle for it. But, I don't know, it seems like it could be really useful. So... Marsh Tomp learned Protect. Good job, Why not? Are you gonna get 11? No. So why not just five levels out from a moment? Um, we've got a little bit to go. The strength room. Brute force? I don't want to take that one yet. That one I think fits as a good last target. So we'll head to the, the middle room, the defense room. The higher my Pokemon's defense, the more reckless I can be with my attacks. Yes and no. I mean, boost your defense all you'd like. Special is where the weakness is, where it comes in. Alright, so we're up against a, a Lanoon again. Uh, since we know it's going to be boosting their defense right off the bat. That uh, means fighting moves aren't going to be helpful. But Water Gun is going to be oddly helpful because it's not going to be affected by your defense raising. It's not going to be good either, but it's not going to be affected by your defense raising. There goes the electricity. I guess Pikachu would have been a much better target this time, but he just kind of stopped that as well. Uh, because if I could, Pikachu's um, Electro Ball would probably actually not do too much to Lanoon, because Lanoon's a fast Pokemon. Stop coveting me. Especially with Prince. Lanoon goes down. We can heal up with, with I think, 
uh, either a potion. Eh. Looking at what our health is, we'd probably just use a Moomoo Milk. Not a Moomoo Milk, a um, Soda Pop. And one hit KO. Interesting. I'm not sure I'm prepared for a one hit KO move. That is a bit out of my range. So let's heal up and heal up. I guess we're worried about crits in this coming room. Because I'll do the one hit KO room, and then I'll backtrack through those front chains, and we'll end with the strength room like I planned. Not gonna take it easy just because you're our leader's kid. I'll show you how horrible it is to catch a critical hit. So that's gonna be his strategy. He's gonna be trying to crit us. He's got Zangoos. Um, we haven't seen this one in this gym yet, but it is a nice normal type. Um, and we're probably looking at him using Dire Hit, uh, which will be annoying. Because Dire Hit with uh, Slash is gonna be a pretty strong combination as a result. Mud shot at him twice, hopefully two smooth drops. Because Dire Hit's gonna like double his crit plus yeah. I think we can survive one more. Oh. On the bright side. Ooh, if he doesn't crit we live. And we win. Water gun. Zangoose goes down. But that was much closer than I would have liked, because Marsh Tomp really isn't built to... Ancient Power? Ooh. That's the one with the chance to boost every stat. Uh, we'll get rid of Water Gun. We do not need water coverage up in Earth. Uh, we've got Marsh Tomp to cover that. Pikachu grew a level, and what about Why Not? Oh, we do not need Nuzzle. Nuzzle's too weak, it's like 20 power, I think. 20 power physical on my special Pokemon. So it's not worth it. We're three levels out for why not. Hope you have a terrific battle between father and son, which means this is the gym leader room. We're not actually interested in the gym leader room. We're going to use this chance to kind of run out heal, um, because Mark Tom needs it. And then we'll jump into the right. Straight down, yeah. Because we haven't entered this right path at all. Um, kinda did, kinda didn't, but... So, we'll heal up for our second time this gym. We're getting lots of experience, that's the important part. I think, actually... No, you know what? We're not going to fight the rest of the gym. We are just going to go take on the, league, the leader now. There's going to be some difficulties from it, but I think... Um, between my team, we can handle it. It's gonna be close, but we can handle it. Um, yeah, pretty much we're just going to be going for... Oh, wait, I don't want to go in the accuracy room. I want to go in the speed room. Uh, from here, we'll head to the right. I will just, is it just a straight shot up? No, because we went to the far opposite corner. Um, this is mainly for time purposes. I'd love to fight all of the um, gym trainers here to just to get the experience. But I, I think we'll be getting enough experience um, from just the next coming area. The only reason I didn't do the training when I did, like, in between the parts, is because my choices of training were that route right before the fourth gym and that route right next to the third. Neither one of those was going to be a lot of experience. And I think we've already gained more just by fighting those two gym trainers. So we got four gym badges. It's a Pokemon battle. Alright. Here we go. Makes me happier than I can describe being able to battle my own son. So, we're gonna take him down. I don't know that he's got anything we really need to worry about a lot. Like, with our setup, we should be able to take out at least two of his Pokemon pretty safely. Slocking is gonna be one of the more annoying Pokemon to fight. Because uh, they have a huge amount of health. Uh, if I could have, I would have loved to have Wall of at this point. Um, but since I can't, we're gonna start with Protect. I don't want to get hit by his first move, so.
Alright, we did not get Nox to sleep. It's weird that I wanted to avoid... Um, what is it? Uh, yawn, of all things? Uh, I want to land two mud shots, so I'm expecting him to yawn again this turn. There it is. Now, if I was to keep Marsh Tomp out, we would take a lot of damage. Fortunately, that wasn't my plan. I was going to switch over to Pikachu, since this will give us a little bit of speed boost comparison. And his truant's going to mean Pikachu can get a free switch in. Electro Ball, since we should be a lot faster than him now. Should kill? Oh. Less than expected. But, I mean, you're going to yawn me again? Enerith, come on out. I wasn't planning this strategy, but if it works, I'm going to be really excited. Because uh, he just keeps trying to yawn us. Which means I should be safe for two attacks. Both the Fury Cutter fight. Did you just encore my Fury Cutter? The, the thing I would spam anyways? So, Fury Cutter, not gonna kill. It's gonna truant us, so we can Fury Cutter him again. Ooh, and he's gonna Hyper Potion, which I think actually shifts his uh, truant turn one. So, we have to worry about the fact that he's gonna be hitting us with whatever this turn. As long as it's not a fighting move, I think Anorith will be fine. The Encore ended. At this point, Anorith, as long as it's faster, might be able to kill off all enemies. Fury Cutter. Slaw King goes down. And our Fury Cutter, I think, is as close to max power as it can be. Good job, Marsh Tomp. 13, are we going to get 14? We are. I don't think we're hitting 15. Vigoroth. I'll keep battling. I don't know that Anoroth is going to be fast enough. Or Anoroth is going to be fast enough for it. Yeah, nope. Gets us first hit. I was just expecting, because if I could have got that hit off, we'd be in a really good spot for this next fight, because Vigoroth would have taken a lot of damage. So, much shot. Unfortunately, uh, because it's now been a turn, Revenge isn't going to be something we have to worry about. Revenge is a really, really powerful fighting move, I think. And I, I, if I remember correctly... Oh no, is it Retaliate he spams much? Because we're definitely seeing a nice cutscene for that each time. So, last mud shot takes down Vigoroth. Already in a good situation. And there's level 15, which means, why not just learn some new moves? Uh, yes, I would love for you to forget uh, something from here, but we do not need Encore, so let's get rid of that. There is one of these I'm going to want to keep. Uh, safeguard. Uh, as the uh, yes, we'll give him on safeguard, and with the last move, Destiny Bomb. Destiny Bomb wasn't the one I wanted to keep, really, but I th still think it's going to work better for us in the long run uh, than any of the others. Uh, we'll keep battling. I think Marsh Tomp, thanks for learning Protect, will be able to handle this fight fine. Because Protect to start things off. Yawn if you'd like to, but I think we'll be fine. Swagger. Okay, we protected ourselves from Swagger. So we've got a turn now. Yeah, he's only going to have Truant. I want to slow him down, because he clearly is faster than us now. I don't want him to get me with Yawn, if possible. Uh, he keeps trying to Swagger me. Well, I've got seven more defense, so we should have a good chance. There was our truant again. And I like Slocking. He is a good Pokemon, um, damage-wise. But you gotta be able to one-hit things. If you can't one-hit things, you'll run into a situation like what I'm using Marsh Tom for right now. You, you get to hit me every other turn, 
This is why Vigoroth is his most dangerous Pokemon. Um, because I can keep lowering his speed, I can lower his attack, I can do anything during these middle turns. No. And I think he actually has a move, I think it is that chip away where it actually ignores uh, status changes. And we're just not we're just gonna spam Mudshot should be enough to take him down. If not, well I'll take a, a hit from Slonkang. But see, we could just sit there and spam that as long as we needed to. Uh, we do have some Luffa Berries, so every once in a while we've had to refresh up for that. And we beat Leader Norman. Impossible. Clearly possible. And look at that, why not is evolving? Meaning it's already pretty close to being strong enough for our party. And here it is. The evolved why not is Wobbuffet. I'm glad I picked the right one. I didn't remember if it was male or female. Um, so I'm glad I picked the right one. I did kind of just guess. I tend to just assume that all my Pokemon are going to be male. Uh, except for the Pikachu. Come this far? It's just because the odds for your starter is, uh, what, 7 to uh, 1 that it's going to be male? So. We also can now use Surf, and Pokemon up to level 60 will. All of our Pokemon are going to listen to us regardless, thanks to um, their R's. If you trade Pokemon, that's where the level requirement is going to be the issue. So. We're headed out. There's one place we really wanted to go, and I'm a little annoyed they forced this sort of transition on you. Uh, cause, look at that, we weren't running to Wally. Grab something you've forgotten. And... Oh yes, Wally's father is going to be handing us, I think, Surf at this point. It would be a delight if you take this. Yeah, so we've now got Surf. It'll be very easy for us to cross any water now. Uh, which means Mr. Briny is no longer going to help us. Uh, you'll be able to handle what lies beyond the sea on route 118 now. With our po stronger Pokemon and trainers waiting on Hoenn's east coast. Alright. Alright, see you next time. Let's go together. Yeah, this isn't one like May where you get to choose whether or not, because I'd love to have actually gone back to Little Root and said goodbye to my mom and everything. Nope, not an option. We just get pulled. We are now in Mauville. And there's a nice touching moment between the two fathers. And we just head off. I think he doesn't give me the option. If he's going to give me options right here. Yeah, see, I'd like it if it was like one of the May ones where he's like, okay, I'll wait here for a little bit and go. Alright, he said straight to Route 118. And this is all stuff that happened right after the gym. So it turns out this fight was, I'm sorry, this episode was just an egg hatch and the gym battle. And the next part, well, first of all, let's check. Our Pokemon are not healed up. Um, with our new team member, we can head over to the new route. And see what lies in store for us uh, for the coming part, I think. If I understand correctly, we'll actually be getting both our next, like, at least one of them for sure, and the next part, and the part after that should be the last of our team members. So I'm looking forward to it, I finally having a full team to train up. I am a little surprised we didn't wind up with Swampert by this point, though. That is the one thing I'll say. In any case, thank you guys for watching this part of Pokemon Alpha Sapphire No Catch, and I'll see you guys next time.